Hey there, welcome back. It's episode 20 of our Nordic Journeyman with TPS, Turun Parosura. As I mentioned in the last episode, in case you didn't see it, today's going to be a little bit of a different episode. We're not going to be doing a live con, but hold on, don't leave, okay? Because we got some important things to talk about. Uh, so we won our last two games. We're sitting on 37 points. We were really rooting for HJK and VPS to do well, aka win the Suomen Cup. That is the Finnish Cup, so that this fourth spot becomes eligible for the Europa League. That would be excellent. Um, it's Europa League, isn't it? I, every time I say Europa League, I go, is it Europa League or Champions League? Yes, Europa League first qualifying round. Because if that happens, we're only three points off that spot. So you're saying there's a chance. Today, what we're going to do is take a look at, we've had youth intake. So we're going to look at those players. Before we get to those players, though, I want to look at the squad, some of the folks that have developed, some of the folks that might need contract renewals or not, and kind of work our way down towards, okay, so if we don't offer this person a contract, we would use this, you know, uh, second team player or U20 player as their replacement. So let's get right into it, shall we? And we'll also look at, uh, you know, at the players that we have that are going to be here, how they've developed, all that kind of stuff. So I'm sure there's going to be stuff I miss that you want to see. So make sure you leave it in the comments, and I'll get it eventually. Um, the first news is quite unfortunate. Um, Men Kennan out for three to four months, hip injury. It's the exact same injury he just had. So we gave him 23 minutes. And he went and had the exact, at least same type of injury, and it's the same length of time potentially that he's going to be out. And then Vertanen, the exact same thing. Both of them said it was a groin injury, but now it's saying a hip injury, so I don't know what's going on. It's his first major injury with us. Um, he's had some moderates, but you know, a couple weeks versus you know two, three months. So that hurts, to be honest. That that really. Um, puts a pinch on her squad depth in certain areas. So let's take a look at this. So I've got this sorted by expiration date. So obviously everybody above Pasonen here is, uh, you know, either going to wrap up their playing time with us or get a contract renewal. Everybody down here is going to be here. So let's take a look at it. Starting at the top, you've got Yuri Kinyuan, who's on his week to week or his appearance fee only contract, which to be fair, is probably saving us a fair bit of money. He's not developing, though he's 30, so I'm not sure how much he would develop. He's a first-team player in his prime years, but in his 10 appearances for us, his starts, he's he's done a 6-5-4. So he's not, I mean, again, he's a right-footed left back. So, you know, he's okay in, the, in a support role. We generally have been playing a defend role on our left back. He's all right. He's he's determined as all get out. He's 16 determination, so I have, I think, been using him to tutor. He's not right now, of course, now that I bring it up. So maybe we keep him on as a tutor or we just leave him on this contract. The risk is that leaves him open to being poached. Um, and if you look at the report overall, he's fairly susceptible to injury. doesn't play feel comfortable playing in big matches, which is why I'm not too crazy about him, to be completely fair. We've got Bockerman, who's on a rotation contract until next year and he's okay he's just okay he's not great he's 23 i'd really like to see more development here um i don't dude why are you working on your penalty taking I, I don't care i want to see crossing you know those types of things we have him working on fullback and maybe we'll give him crossing i mean it's gonna it's a it's a big ass to get that crossing up to something respectable some we'll try it but you know, he's complained in the past about his uh, how much we've had him work. So I'm kind of thinking we just leave Yuri where he's at because we're not really using him. As long as he's happy and okay, and then if he starts giving us any trouble, we just cut him loose um, because he's just he just hasn't done it for me. Um, six seven nine last season. Before that, he was a six five seven. You know, it's just it's kind of how I feel. Um, I mean, he's a, he's been here quite some time, so, I, I, you know, it just is one of those things. John Viscasi, who is our Canadian backup goalkeeper, is also on a 95 uh, euro per appearance non-contract. 
backup player, two and a half star. He's going downhill. He's not improving. To be fair, in his three starts for us, um, when Pasonen was injured, he played a six eight seven. So it's not like he's bad. He played a seven point zero for us last season. Um, he's all right. But we also have Seppa down here who has more potential and is younger. And then we've got some youth prospects. So I'm kind of thinking we just drop him down to the second team and go, thanks. But, you know, let me know what you think there. Then we have Mika Artalo, who is, I mean, I mean, he is falling apart. Like, I'm hoping he makes it to the end of the season. Um, he's He's not. He's just he's just kind of falling apart on us. I mean, I don't know what to say. Um, his staff attributes are iffy. I'd like to keep him on in some capacity. We actually have an opening on our U20 team for an assistant coach. Do I offer him a contract as the replacement? At the end, I mean, he hasn't said he's going to retire. So I'm afraid it's going to make him mad, but he just, he can't keep playing for us after this season. He's been fantastic. Last season, he was unbelievable. 7 4 8, 22, 22 appearances, 13 goals, 10 assists. But this is not, this is not a good look with everything going down on the physical fitness side. So let me know what you think there about old Mika. Um, Sammy here is kind of in the same spot. He's starting to go downhill a little bit. He's done respectable. He's probably going to start getting mad because I haven't been playing him. I've only been playing Freiburg instead. 12 appearances on a 6.84. Last season, he's on a 6.87. So he's done okay, but he's 33. <laughs> His staff attributes are, I mean, for some reason, he's really good at attacking despite being a right back. I mean, I know he can play up here. Um, I'm kind of thinking at best backup contract, but I'm just I worry he, he, if we if we get even a one year deal, he's going to be 34 next season, and he's his physicals are just not there, um, and he kind of can't play on the left side, even though he's either footed. He'd be like emergency res reserve. So I'd like to save the wages on Sammy. Um, well, he's the only one under, I guess, actual contract. And then Mika, if we can get him to stay as a coach, that's where I'm kind of thinking. Um, Salander, I believe, has earned his way to at least another backup contract. 12 appearances, 683. He's done all right. He's versatile for us. He can play either position in the midfield and in a pinch, in a very large pinch, he could play back there. But he's 25. He could improve. Um, and it's his first season with us. So. Physical is not great, but that's kind of what I'm thinking. I don't know if you can hear that. That's my uh, my son's monitor. It's nap time at the GHG household. So I'll move that down. Hopefully you can't hear that anymore, or maybe you didn't in, in the first place. Ilari Matala, maybe you saw this in the inbox. I've uh, offered him out to clubs. No one has come asking for him. He's just not getting playing time. He's complaining about not getting playing time, which is completely fair. Like, he's been here quite some time. Um, but he's only got two-star current and potential ability. He's definitely just a winger. Like, that's all that he is. Because he doesn't have the technicals or the mentals for much else. So, I was thinking if I could cash in on twenty-eight grand, I would. That That's not something to sneeze at. But now with the injuries to Vertanen and with Artalo kind of falling apart... I'm wondering if we should just keep him around until the end of the season. That's kind of where my head's at right now. Don't offer him a contract renewal, but just kind of keep him on. Now, finally, to some good news in terms of development, 15 appearances or starts, two goals, four assists, the player of the match, 704 rating, is Ani Valakari, who has played extremely well. He's been here since 2017. He put a 713 last season on nine appearances. We've doubled that. We're going to double that. This season, he's on 150 a week. He's going to get a raise. I'm going to try and get him a contract that goes like that starts at the end of the season. So like keep working for it, you know, type deal. But I think he's he's coming along quite nicely. We've had him working on the advanced playmaker in the attacking midfield because my thought is whether it's in the midfield or the attacking midfield, 
it's the same role he plays. So he's working on the same attributes. He just needs to know this better. He already knows the midfield one really, really well. So let's take a look at some of his improvement here. His decisions are going from a 10-2 recently to a 10-8. That's quite good. Penalty taking, again, why? Um, vision, which is probably good if you're going to be making some risky passes from 13.2 to 13.6. Determination is a 12, stamina going up from a 7.6 to an 8.0. So he had a healthy little jump here. Um, it's saying we should put him on passing. Sure, his passing is 9, his stamina is 8, whatever. But I quite like where he is going and how he's improving. So I'm not going to do all the contract renewals here in the middle of the video. I don't think because we're already 10 minutes in. Oh, my goodness. Um, but I'm quite pleased with him. We've got some green showing up here in his stats, and he's 20 years old. I think he's going to be really good for us long term. Um, looking ahead, so that that's that kind of gives you the idea of what the squad looks like. But we've also got Rex Happy. He signed a backup contract. I can't remember if I mentioned that in the season. It went on uh, June 5th, went into a backup role for us. He's kind of doing the same thing. He's starting to fall off a little bit. He's played a 6.99, recently a 7.16, so he's still a good option. But I'd like to have somebody ready that can kind of take over his role. Um, Holman here is on a rotation contract until next year. He's played a 6-7-9, and we've given him 16 appearances. He's not improved a bit. Mm, he's, he's been okay. Um, he, again, he's been around the club since two, 2015, so he's he's done quite all right. He did 7 one um, last season. So we, we've got him on contract. We're not just going to chuck him to the curb, and he's worth seventy nine grand. Maybe we would chuck him to the curb if we could get a top dollar for him. Tenho is... I feel like he should be doing better. He Maybe it's just because his potential ability is not there. Um, doesn't enjoy playing in big matches. We, we, we might sell him to cash in on that 57 grand. Um, he's He's gotten enough time. Hasn't played well. We've got a youngster I'll click over here to Tuomas. I'm sure that's Thomas, right? Tuomas? Kasalainen, who is 17, already two and a half stars with five star potential ability, up and comer for sure, and is improving noisily. He's got nine determination. We got to work on that. But going back to Ten Tenho here, doesn't enjoy big matches. Is it not not even for the league we came from? He's for the leading player for the for below that. His techniques four. I think I've just decided we're we're gonna we'll, we'll list him here in a second because the. Uh, the window closes in like three days. So we'll see if we can get a bite on that. Otto Schultz is, again, an up-and-comer, 22. More of a right fullback. We've played him in central defense. He's done he's done okay there. Um, has had a little bit of improvement, but uh, he needs more playing time and match experience. So I, maybe he can get it if we can get rid of – and we had him training on fullback, I suppose, because that's where he's, he's naturally better there, and he's five foot nine. So I'd rather not keep him in the in the center of the defense. I'd rather have taller players that can do that. But if we can get rid of Tenho, maybe he gets more of that playing time that he needs. Um, we got Jacob here. Hasn't really improved, but a 6.88. He's done okay. I'd like to see better. His physicals aren't great. He's worth 76 grand, but he's on a first-team contract, 325. That's affordable at our level. Ball-winning midfielder. He's done all right. Um, Bockerman, which I showed you. Mm. I'd like to get a solid left back in the transfer market. Um, Freiburg, who's 24, has improved a bit. He's getting more playing time. 6 8 1, 14 appearances or starts, I should say. You know, last season he had 8 on a 6 7 7. He's been around the club six years now, seven years, something like that. Determined as all get out. So as he ages, we can be using him. He's on a backup contract. So it's not, although my assistant manager did mention, yeah, you might want to, you know, offer him a better contract i'd like to kind of keep him as a we can use you you're improving and then we can have you tutor some of the people that will eventually replace you don't tell him men kennan this is a worry for me um he's affordable right so we're not gonna i mean his contract probably at the end, end of next year is probably gonna be it just because he's been injured so much so that's kind of tragic to be honest with you so he, he was on loan with us did a 7-3-5 last season. Nine appearances this season, 6-9-4, but has just been injury-prone, and his physicals are taking a hit because of that. 
So I think he might have to go back up. So we need probably a left back, a center back, a midfielder. Salander's on backup. He, he's all right. Not fantastic, but all right. 683, we already kind of took a look at him. Um, Eero has been the signing, I think, I think it was last season. No, of the season. He's 7.11, 21 years old. Honestly, has gotten thrown into the side because of injuries, but he's improving. Physicals, I'd really like to see better. But he's gotten a lot of positive reports from um, when I get like training reports. It's like, wow, he keeps improving. I'm like, yeah, I know. Injury risk is high. That's a bit nervy. 7.11. He can play really either spot. Likes a deep line playmaker. Has got good stats for it. Overall has been fantastic. Hasn't shown up really in the goals and the assist column. We played him a lot from the defensive midfield, but he's played really well. So happy with him. Paltola keeps asking for more playing time, and he's not going to get it because he's not very good. So as long as he'll stick out at the end of his contract, we'll keep him in playing in the uh, the second team. He's done okay. He's a good emergency reserve, but he's not going to be somebody long-term for us. Blumquist has done all right. 709 on six starts and 10 subs with three you know goals at the end of halves. Dropped off a little bit because of injury. We need to get him back in the squad um, to work on his his you know, stats and all that kind of stuff. But I mean, he's had two really good seasons with us. One less game than last season, but again, going up a level and still performing quite nicely. And he's 24. So he's still got a, a, he's got a chance he could continue to improve. So we'll try and work him in here at the end of the season. We already look at Valakari and Artalo. Let's look at Yaya. Yaya Sumahoro has come in and really been disappointing, to be honest with you. We're paying him 850 a week. We may sell him. Maybe it's that he needs to learn the language. Mm, trying to give him benefit of the doubt. Basic finish, he's okay. But a six six nine on nine starts with this, with this ability, is disappointing. Not gonna lie. Um, just because we're paying him eight fifty a week, maybe we, we got him on a free. Do we just cash in? Let me know what you think of the comments on that. I'm tempted. Tempted. Um, Yakinen has done well, I would say, 7-2-2 on 10 um, starts. Young can play not anywhere we want him to, but primarily on the right wing, can kind of sub in on the uh, the center on the attacking midfield. I'm not saying he's earned himself a first-team contract, but he's earned himself the ability to stick around next year, and he's determined. So, as he again, as he gets older, he could start tutoring. That would be good. So, I'm happy with him. For Tannen, we looked at Hilska. Just got his contract boosted to 350 a week. I'm totally good with that. I think he's a bargain. 725, 17 starts, 14 goals, four players of the match. Has played well for us. Despite finishing 10 and first touch nine, his physicals, I think, have helped him out. He's 26. I'm a little nervous that his pace and his balance are already dropping off, but he's played really, really well. Quite happy with him. And then Oliver Enavoldson, who we just brought on, hasn't really had time to improve hasn't been here long enough uh he's making more than our first team guy but that's okay um don't tell don't tell host guy it's fine it's fine uh six eight five one goal five sub appearances so he hasn't really had a chance to start we've just been trying to get that match sharpness up you know to the 85 percent range before we give him a start so he's just been coming in giving hilska a rest he's 21 he's got room to improve four and a half um star we hadn't just hey, like just just don't freak out, man. Just work on your composure because you get seven composure. I think we're going to bump that up now that he's been here a bit. Have him work on his advanced forward skills. So we'll change that. So that's the first team. Um, so again, we could really use like a stud goalkeeper, but we're okay with Pasonen for next year. We need a left back, a center back, <laughs> um, maybe a backup right back or a, like a stud right back that could replace Freiburg. A midfielder for Minkinen, I think. And we're always looking for strikers. Maybe a right winger. So let's go look down here, shall we? Um, these guys aren't really worth talking about. We've got them on just appearance contracts. They're okay, but they're not really improving. Pekka Matilla is interesting. Um, 21, 5'11". Again, I'd like him to be a bit taller. He's got good pace and acceleration, so he could play the cover role for us. So maybe he starts rotating in. His mental's not great, but... He He's okay. Um, obviously, you can't see his improvements, or maybe it's because he hasn't improved. So we'll, we'll give him an assignment, I guess. Let's work on your central defending. But uh, 
he's done okay. Maybe he could replace Tenho, but he's not like that boom stud that you want to have in there, right? Um, Tiro Koistenen has a lot of potential at right back, but it's all potential. He's 18. He's work I, just like, hey man, just work on your marking. It's gone up from a 4.8 to a 5.4, you know, in the last year, which isn't outstanding. Um, now that he's been here a bit, we'll have him work on fullback, I guess. But he could potentially come up and and do a role. I'd like to give him another season or two to kind of season and continue to get better. I mean, he's been boshing the league, right? Like six of starts, seven, eight, three. So in in terms of this, surely that's the second team league, right? Yeah, yeah, that has nothing to do with the first team. So again, I want I, I'd like to get a starter, Saku Lepa, who's been on loan. I think is improving nicely. Like concentration up a bunch. Penalty taking. I, I, maybe they've had him taking penalties, although he hasn't attempted any. 21 appearances, 7-1-0. Again, he's gone to GIFK. Kaunainen. Kaunainen. Which are several divisions down. Um, but he's done well and has, he's improving. So he's gotten the starts that he needs to improve um i want to say at one point they were playing him like in midfield or attacking midfield in the center but you know whatever he's worked on his stats and he's done all right we can't really see any of that other than the the green arrows but you know i'm thinking maybe he can come up next season maybe i mean he's got good crossing he could be kind of the the backup to yakinen if we're gonna lose metala or uh whatever his name is what's his name Matala. That's what I knew what I was talking about. You knew that, right? Um, we've also got Mackinnon here, who's just okay. He's on an appearance only, non-contract, if we need him, but strength to five foot seven. Again, done, has done well in the league, just isn't all that exciting to me. Timu Nyholm has improved a bit, might need a loan. 7.4, 22 appearances, um, two goals. Is he playing for us? Yes, yeah, 21 appearances for and the, I can't believe they played 21 games, to be honest with you. That's kind of surprising to me. But I'm thinking maybe we get him a, a loan contract um, somewhere else just to get him, you know, into competitive games rather than, like, this, you know, second team league thing. I'm not, I'm not too familiar with the second team stuff, so maybe maybe that's incorrect. I don't know. Um, Risto Kuika is not, not really worth talking about. He's... He's all right. Two starts, six subs, seven one five in the in the the second team league. Eh, just he's never gonna make it here. So we'll, I mean, he's only costing us ten bucks a week. So we'll we'll just leave him there. Um, Miko Jervinen, I'm I'm excited about. Fairly loyal, ten crossing, nine dribbling. He could kind of come up, I think, next season as a backup on the left. Obviously, he's an inside forward, so sometimes we play with a winger on one side and inside forward on the other. So maybe we could swap those out. He's got the potential. Um, passing is a little iffy. So, again, definitely more of a backup. But I think I think I'm, I'm okay with bringing him up. Strength is just horrific. <laughs> just very, very not good. But he's got pace and acceleration. So, maybe he can he can get past people that way. Valtanen, I've offered a contract. And um, I believe he accepted it. It just hasn't gone through yet. And we've got him listed for a loan because it says in his development that his development slowed somewhat needs a better challenge to further his progress. So I'm trying to get him alone as a key player, even if it's um, you know, two or three divisions down, on a key player contract as a striker. I, I'm trying to get him to work on his advanced forward because I'm not a huge fan. We, we only play with, with one striker up top, so I don't like having that one be a defensive forward, although his bravery is 19. But he looks quite good. We just I, I got him on a full-time contract as soon as he signs on the bottom line. Matty Leskinen, which we've already showed you in the past, um, hasn't really played for the second team. Four appearances a goal, but we had also pulled him up, and he was in the second team or in the uh, under twenties, kind of back and forth. I've got him working on a complete forward because honestly, I wanted him to work on everything, and I, and and he's he's improving quite nicely. So we're working on the finishing and the first touch. He's not quite ready, as you as we saw when we brought him up. He wasn't exactly ready for prime time, 
but I think I think he's got. I mean, he's he could potentially reach that five star potential concentration going up, which is obviously quite important. Um, but he's developing quite nicely. Kind of leave him in the second team for now, um, and then Lanto. He's all right. He's not great. He's all right. Um, maybe we get him. He, he he's like he's he's better, I think, than a second team guy, right? Two appearances, two goals on a seven eight five, but he hasn't just done amazing for us at our level. So do we do we get him alone? You know, is that worth it? To he's on contract for for three more year or two more years, I guess by now. Um, do we get him alone to see if we can get him like regular playing time in, in a competitive environment? Again, I'm looking for input here because I'm I'm not I'm not really familiar with doing a lot of youth development and loaning people out, so I don't want to screw it up. And then let's uh, let's just go first to the youth prospects. So first, the ones I have signed: Santeri Pikarainen, goalkeeper, 16, already one and a half star ability, five star potential ability. Tasty. Very high injury risk. Not ideal. Um, low level determination. Also not ideal. He's being tutored by Pasonin to hopefully fix that. But if we can get this to go away and to up his determination, I think his current ability will skyrocket. So was excited again for 45 a week. We got him on a full time. Not not a youth. Does it say youth? I mean he's He's 16, but it, it was a full-time contract, not a youngster contract. Um, Edvin Volstrom, kind of the same deal. One-star current ability. What is that? Four-and-a-half-star potential ability, Five foot ten. Overall, I liked his uh, decisions and work rate, hoping that we can get him some tutoring about the determination with Rex Heppy. So we're working on that because he's unambitious. That's not good. You don't want to be called unambitious. Matty uh, Lorakainen. One and a half star, five star potential, five foot nine, midfielder, determination 10, work rate 11. Do we have him being tutored? No, we need to get that sorted. But the problem is, so he's ambitious. Determination 10, advanced playmaker. So what do we do here? Blumquist? No, determination six. Determination 12. We could get Artalo to take care of him. But those guys don't really play his position. So we'll sort that out here in a little bit. Alexi Pasanen. Six foot two. 13 determination. Ambitious. I like it. I like it. Um, has a ways to go. Work rate could really go up. Physical's not that great. But I love his determination being 13. Which is where it was a little higher, but again, with the potential for 45 a week, I said that's that's a steal. Uh, Pekka Mainpa. The only reason I'm being honest with you that I signed this kid, he's six, six foot seven. If we could somehow, I mean, he's determined his work rate's awful. If we could, and he's ambitious somehow, he's got, I mean, 17 bravery, 12 decisions, 14 leadership. If we could work on his technicals a lot, um, and he develops physically. He's six foot seven. He would be a monster both at the back line and like on free kicks. So I mean, I he's six foot seven. That's why that's why I signed him. Um Kale Yakinen, maybe is he is he his brother? No, there's probably that's probably like a common last name. No. He's outspoken. Lovely. Um Right winger, have him working on, I believe, on the attacking midfield right. I mean, he could go back. I'd rather have his capabilities up top with the work rate, um, crossing. Oh, like, oh, let me know what you think about this guy. Should we make him a right back or an attacking winger? So it's one or the other. He's not really familiar with the fullback, but he has the stats. If we put him on support or attack, I mean, for a sixteen-year-old, looks pretty good. So let me know what you think there. I'm undecided. I'm undecided. Um. And then I think, no, no, those are the new ones. So the other ones I wasn't sure about that I want to get your thoughts on. Hadam Mesa, mm, Mesa Udi, um, five foot 11, determination is two. That's awful. I think that's really going to hinder him unless we can get him some, some tutoring rather quickly to fix this. 
that's why I didn't just outright sign him. He's on uh, trial until the 13th, so we've got a month to decide. Let me know what you think there. I'm going to go through these quickly, so if there's one you want to see, you can pause and go back. Miko Peltonen, Determination 3. We have a lot of low Determination players, so I'm not sure if that's something in my head of youth development, um, which we'll take a look at, because I don't, I don't think he's not got that as like a trait. He's a balanced personality, so I'm not sure where that's coming from. But that's not good. Like, that's very, very bad. Um, so he didn't look all that exciting. Philip Dahlberg just didn't look like somebody who would ever make it, if I'm being fair. Like, I'd rather not have 600 people in the U20s. I'd rather have a set number that are really getting a lot of time. Um, his physicals aren't great. His technicals are terrible. Um, Yuri Nurminen, good determination and work rate. So on the fence with him. Um, technical's not great. Physicals has a way, whew, has a ways to go. Shoots from distance, whatever, but he's very bad at it. But his determination work rate are, are all right. So is he somebody that we go ahead and sign and then see how he develops over three years? Well, let me know what you think. Um, Ronnie Lindstrom. Again, determination and work rate really good. Everything else not. And he's five foot four. So like, He's Speedy Gonzalez, but he's not Speedy. You know, like, he's... Maybe he'll grow. I don't know if that happens in Football Manager. Perovo, Determination 15, Work Rate 13. He's fairly determined. That makes me want to lean towards signing him, but I want to leave it up to you. He's It says he's high risk, but it's not in his um, traits. So, his concentration... Eh. He's not amazing. He's not terrible. He's got good teamwork. I'm, I'm leaning towards signing Saku. Um, Yako Vertanen. Is he the is he brothers? Is, oh, I'm waiting for I'm waiting for for a brother. Um, 14 determination, not great work rate for a winger. Pretty bad crossing. Um, all right, physical speed six foot one. You know, probably worth chucking a contract onto. But again, would love your thoughts. Uh, Uni Kapunen. Low determination. That's just... It, everything's bad. I think this is a no, even though he's three star, three and a half star. But I, I'm open to being persuaded. Um, again, moving quanti- kind of quickly, so if you want to go back, you can pause. 12 determination, 15 work rate. Pretty good. Right back. Everything else, awful. And then Lindstrom here. Again, determination 12, work rate 11. He's left-footed, progress, but just didn't look amazing. Um, some of the other ones here, let's look, just to show you some progress. I already looked at uh, this guy. Uh, Yuka Pekka Lane is, is, has improved quite nicely, I would say. Um, you can see, what is this, balance? Yeah, his balance has gone up from like a 5.8 to an 8 quite nicely. Determination is growing. We've got him working on box to box midfielder. He already knows the advanced playmaker, so I'm just trying to give us some some depth where you can play in multiple positions. Um, five foot six isn't <laughs> you know great. Um, tries long range free kicks, so I thought with well, again with a box to box midfielder, you get the long shots. Maybe that would work, but he's improving nicely. Happy with that. Um, Viljanin has done okay. Nothing outstanding. Wait, yeah, he's he's one we've had around. Yep. Um, I just want to show you there's a couple Lepanen sorry if I'm mispronouncing that for a central defender 6 foot again not quite to the point where he is ready to come up but he may go to the second team maybe if he can get more exposure there and actually play some games but he's done well 7.02 on 8 appearances with a goal fair play to you alright that's his last 5 six, nine, eight. Pretty close though. Suen Pera has done well. I've gotten a couple reports from him about his he's uh, his improvements. Um, Flair has gone down. He started out as a 17. That's disappointing considering we have him working on an advanced playmaker, which includes Flair. But he's done all right. Physicals aren't great. I he's he's 18, so it's like he he does he need fitness training. He needs something. That's that's not really all that good. Um, he's valued at a whopping 525 euros. Um, who else we have? Turunen. He's done okay. Improving, but... Has a ways to go. 
has a ways to go. I just want to make sure I'm missing miss um, a little, 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 little. I want to make sure I'm not missing anyone. Kujala has done all right. Haven't gotten that many amazing reports for him. You know, have him working on a defensive midfield role. Um, I feel like there's one I was definitely wanting to show you. Who was it? It's like I'll have to see the name. Um, no, it, maybe I've already shown you, and I've just blacked out. That could that could pro that that's probably it. Maybe it was Kasalainen. So I'm quite pleased with him. Um, just to check a, take a quick look at the finances, positive bank balance, right? We actually made money because of the uh, the Dobby. So gate receipts, 171,000, quite tasty. Profits are looking okay. Board is absolutely thrilled with me. 88% untouchable. So maybe I should ask for something. I don't know. Facilities. Let's look. Good training below below average youth facilities. Sorry about that. My son can't sleep during his nap. You're not trying, bro. Just close your eyes. Um, so maybe we ask for youth facilities. We already got youth facilities as the thing. Do we ask for them again? It, it costs... A, a, a huge chunk of money. I think we're going to wait on that, but maybe, we, you know, do we ask for more coaching staff? I don't know. I, I love your thoughts. I feel like I'm not trying to exploit the fact that I'm untouchable, but we are in seventh. Okay. We are what? 18 points clear. And there's two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven games left. So if we can win a couple games, we will guarantee that we're not going down. And, then we should be asking for some stuff. We've turned down a bunch of jobs. We turned down JJK and IHIFK. And I think Ilves at one point was interested. We had a lot of teams that were interested in us that we've turned down. Um, They've given us a good budget. I just haven't found many players. I'm just kind of struggling on the scouting side of things to find, like, amazing, like, world-class players. I mean, not world-class, but compared to us, world-class players. Um. Just give you a little tour here. Medical Center. Yep. Bakerman, Iro, Hilska, and Valakari are all going to get a rest in the next game because we're playing uh, Rops, who are bottom of the table. Um, Dynamics. Excellent leadership support. Very good locker room atmosphere and very good match cohesion. So we're doing well here overall. Um, I think that's all I really wanted to show you. We don't have anybody, you know, we, we've tried to loan him out, and we've said no to people wanting to take our players. So that's all that's really going on there. Um, but in the next episode, when we come back, we're going to come back. It's going to be a key episode, I think. For, we're going to play HJK in second place and FC Lati in sixth place. So, again, looking at the table, we need HJK and VPS to do well in the cup to open up this fourth spot. We need to get – in those two games, if we could get four points, it would be incredible. Um, we just need to push on – to see if we can claim that four spot and get Europa League. That, I think they should build a trophy in my name if that happens. Profile, overall, looking quite nice. We've got a continental seat. Maybe we should ask for a coaching badge. Maybe that's the thing. And I would probably do that, you know, in the offseason. But we're untouchable now. So do we? while we're untouchable, do we do we try and tr try and get it? They've given us a, a quite a nice raise, up to 600 a week. That's 5, 550 after tax. So uh, I'm happy here. I think we're doing well. We could push for continental football next season. Assuming we could bring in, again, we got a center back issue, a left back issue, maybe a midfielder and like another like really good striker and some wing. Okay. We have a bunch of gaps, I think, um, but we have some good youth prospects. So I think with enough, enough game time and time to develop, we should be okay. So again, this has been a long episode. Um, we're probably looking at like what, 38, 39 minutes now. So um, I really appreciate you watching. And uh, just want to kind of give you a snapshot of the club. So let me know what your thoughts are. I know that was really in-depth. If you like that, let me know. If you don't, leave a comment. Let me know that as well. Um, your support has been amazing. So we'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.